So this is how I look now. <laughs> now I'm a mum. This is how I look. I did do a video about um, my concerns of having a donor egg child and how I'd feel about the baby. Um, I had a little bit of a breakdown sort of like five weeks ago about it and I uploaded that video which I'll put somewhere around here. But um, he's here now. He is now three weeks old. He was three weeks old yesterday. Um, <laughs> which feels so strange. I feel like I've had him forever but yet no time whatsoever. How do I feel about him? Um, so he was born, I sort of kind of come round fully about 11.30pm at night and he was born at half past nine. Um, and then I just think I would just have too much drugs in my system. But kind of just went into autopilot, you're in this weird kind of thing after you have a baby. And the he was born on the Wednesday and the Thursday I sent Tom home because I stayed another night um, because he only had a chair to sleep on. I was like, go home, get a proper night's sleep. And about halfway through the night, um, Irene started crying. And he just stared at me um, as I spoke to him, like he knew me, that he, it was just lovely, it was just this moment and I felt like it was the moment that I kind of felt like I missed. Um, he just kind of stared at me, he was really responding to my voice, I didn't expect him to respond you know, to me that early, he was only a day old and he just kept this eye contact with me and he looked really comfortable and if he kind of cried or whimpered I'd stroke his head and he'd just go back to sleep. Um, if I put him on my chest he'd just settle straight away. It was just, I wouldn't say it was his overwhelming love but it was just like he was mine and I was his, he, he knew who I was. And I just felt like at that moment he was meant to be mine. And it's such a weird feeling because like I said, it's not this overwhelming love. It's just this, I don't know. It's just meant to be. And obviously I know he's biologically not mine, but it doesn't really come up. Now a few people, uh, we bumped into some neighbours and some people thought he looked like me a little bit. Obviously they didn't know. Um, so the kind of looks thing, I think the donor was a good match because I do believe he looks like he, you know, people wouldn't think, oh my god, that's not her child. Not that that matters at all, but, um, you know, that is some people's worries. But, yeah, I can imagine not being with him and just straight away, it was just the eye contact every single day. He was always eyes on me, listening, if he heard me speak, he was looking for me. Because obviously he's heard me speak all the time because he was in my tummy for so long. Um, and Tom just said, you just already seem different. And I remember just <laughs> saying to him, I feel at peace. Um, just absolute peace. I've now got to learn to be an adult without this massive weight on my shoulders, which is so strange that my whole adult life, my teen life, I've had this thing, you'll not be a mum, you'll not be a mum. And now I am one. I still don't feel like a mum. It's gone and I've I've got like no worries he's just he's given me life i gave him life end of day i grew him and i still got to kick uh, feeling kicking things like that and it's so fascinating and every mum says this when you see their reflexes and they do this and you can relate it to the movements they did inside you so yeah i do feel exactly how every donor can see donor parent feels that you know He's mine. He's absolutely mine. And I haven't felt... Well, sometimes I look at him and I feel bad and I do think, oh gosh, you've got this bomb to deal with. But then I'm like, at the moment, he's this pure, innocent baby and he he adores me. I'm his safety. I'm his... I'm his. I do want to reassure anybody... Because, you know, I said all this, you know, they're only eggs, they're only cells, but obviously I hadn't been through the whole kind of process yet. And I still have got so much more to go. I've got to, you know, begin telling him and him growing up, but that's going to, you know, be over years. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I don't look at him and think he's not mine. Not at, not at all. Not at all. I sometimes forget. Really, really doesn't matter how he was made i felt awkward at first that people would say oh i think he's gonna have your hair because i felt like they were saying it just to make me feel better and it doesn't bother me that he doesn't look like me it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable that people are maybe trying to make me feel 
almost included but you've all seen the picture he's the absolute double double gunner of my other half he looks just like his dad his nose is completely different to be fair and his lips are the same shape but thicker so basically he's got a black you know mixed race shaped nose and fuller lips like you know black mixed race so yeah but the, the rest of him is pure dad it just looks like him i'm quite shocked at his hair is the exact same color his eyes tom's got very unusual bluey gray eyes and orange are the same but a darker version so they're like dark gray um like storm clouds they're, they're absolutely stunning but you can never get a proper picture of them so yes how do i feel about my dog son he is mine he's absolutely mine and um, he is just amazing he is i can already tell how intelligent he is he can from day dot he was looking up lifting up his neck I've, i'll slot some pictures in he looks around i've brought like disco lights in the living room and he just follows them he's just in awe of these lights um my sister got married at the weekend and he stayed up for four hours in a row at two and a half weeks old dancing with me <laughs> and my family and he was just taking everyone's faces in and he got used to people and I know they say babies can't smile this young but he was smiling at my brother again I'll try and slot the video in because it's absolutely adorable he is just so I don't know he he is just filled people's lives already especially my family is he's really filled our lives and I think baby brings joy to joy to everybody but he's just I'm just a different person and considering this should be the most stressful time of my life I'm I'm tired and I'm all over the place and I look like this to be fair I look like this for my pregnancy anyway but I am so relaxed and I used to live in the future and, and we we've, we've spoke a little bit about it about our remaining embryos and if we'll use them and the old me would have been like yes we'll use them on this date and this date and we'll do this and we've got to do this and we've got to do this first and we've got to save this money i was always so anxious and planning everything of my life mainly around this you know condition and i've actually said i think we'll use them but at the moment it's not in my mindset and i'm happy that i've got him so we might use them we might not use them we'll cross that bridge as and when it comes but i'm happy i've got him i never thought i was gonna have him um and i just uh, you just look at him and i think anyone feels this way about child and i just i literally ask him like who are you gonna be it's so exciting just to see who is this little person gonna be how is this personality gonna come out and uh, yeah so this is him i've just got him oh he's burping a lot at the moment he's got a lot of trap wind He's not very happy, but this is him. <laughs> He's uh, I'm a bit sorry for himself. But as I've just said, if you are contemplating it, you will not regret it at all. Especially if you're taking so much time to come to this decision. Just don't, just don't. And I just think... I'm, I've never regretted not seeing if there was something they could do with my eggs. I didn't even ask the question. I was just done with it. I don't regret that. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything to me now. The fact is, if I could have my own, I wouldn't have him, and I wouldn't change him for the world. Even if someone could wave a magic wand and say he'll be your DNA, but he'll you know be different. It won't be him anymore. No. He's he fascinates me. He he's made me. The next person I'm going to be and just, I don't know, what do you think? What do we think, Turtle? Just do it. <laughs> just do it. You can have one of these little things that for some reason you go through all this to be projectile vomited on and pooed on all the time. It's great. <laughs> But um, any questions, get in touch with me. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for your support, guys. I will be doing some more update videos about him and how he's been getting on. So I'll see you soon. Bye.